Good thing is how to convert polar coordinates into normal Cartesian coordinates. That's actually very easy. There's this formula for it. Just realize that if we uh, y over r, which is our this is our uh, radius, and of course polar coordinates. Just really, uh, do a quick intro to polar coordinates. If you don't realize what that is at this exact moment, polar coordinates instead of saying something for x, something for y, you just say it's this radius away from the origin, which is this point in the middle, and it's this angle from the positive x-axis. Okay, so the polar coordinates also have two two defining um, you know, pieces of information. First is the radius, so the distance, actual distance from the origin, from the center zero zero, for the Cartesian, for the Cartesian points. And then the second piece of information you need is the this 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 this, uh, this uh, angle. It can it can be all the way here. It can be all around. Okay. So in this case, we have approximately I don't know, 50 degrees or something. It's 3 over 13 times pi radians. Very important. It's radians, not degrees, but radians. And even if you input into sine and cosine, you have to put in these radians. Okay. So that's really important. Real numbers. Okay. So it's not degrees. Now. Uh, we want to get the y value for this. So this is the exact point on the on the on the plane, okay? And how do we get the y value and the x value for this exact point? Well, our information just to quickly summarize it in the polar coordinates first of all before we convert it is we got r is three, so it's three. That's for the radian, how far it is from the origin. And the second piece of information is the angle, and the angle from the positive x-axis is three over thirteen times pi. So three over thirteen times pi. Now. If you want to convert it into what it is for x, so what is the x point right here and the y point right here? Well, I'll just quickly uh, reinitiate what I was trying to say here a few, a few moments ago before I started explaining what polar coordinates actually are. So, this is y and this is r. So, actually, there is sign. So, y over r, this over this, this is the y which we're looking for actually. Okay, this is the same, right? Over r, the radius, the, the distance from the origin of our point is sine of this angle. It is really sine of, and so it gives us this formula: r multiply r to the right side, r times sine of the angle is y. So we already can convert to y. Now x, it's cosine, right? Cosine uh, x over x over the r is cosine of the angle. It's this. You know, this x-axis, this over the r. So it's cosine of this angle. So x equals r times cosine of the angle. And so now we have the exact way to convert. Now take out your calculator and calculate this thing. I'm not going to calculate it. I'm just going to show you how it's inputted into the sine cosine and that's going to be it. It's up for you to figure it out the exact uh, enumeration, to enumerate it out. So. A uh, little, little piece of piece, piece of space right here, and so our y, as I said, the formula is r times sine theta or whatever angle, however you mark the angle. So it's the radius, the distance from the origin times the angle from the positive x-axis. We have distance from origin is three. I wrote it right here. It's one of our uh, informations, and then it's sine of in radians, sine of, of of this angle, and that's also defined three over thirteen times i. Okay. So this is our result. Just uh, input this into calculator and multiply by by three, and you get an exact number. You know, not really exact, but some number. And you will you will be able to say that that is the point at y. Okay. And then for x, x is going to be as I showed right here. It's the radius again times cosine. So radius times cosine of the angle, of the same angle of this of this exact angle. And so it's going to be uh, three times cosine. Of 13 over 3 pi. Of course, 13 over 3 pi radians, 13 over 3 pi radians, it's not easy to do by hand, so use your calculator and you will figure out. Just input this entire thing into your calculator and it will give you an exact number. Okay? If I give you some easy, I don't know, angles of, for example, let's say pi over 2, then of course we could we could do it. We could say if it was pi over 2, uh, it would be just uh, 1 because Actually, the, the distance would be the the uh, would all, everything would go into the into the uh, y axis. Okay, so nothing would uh, lean towards the x sides. But that's 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 uh, a realization for a different time maybe. Uh, but just think about it how this works. These two pieces of information. 
Okay, so this is the formula. This is formula for x. How to convert to x using your radius and using your angle. And it's your formula for y. How to convert to y using the radius and the, and, and, and the angle from the polar coordinate.